Hello, welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name's Jason Newland and this is Relaxation Hypnosis for Stress, Anxiety and Panic Attacks. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. Now just to let you know that you can also listen to this podcast on my website without adverts at the beginning and on continuous play. It's in the menu on my website. And the other, all of my main podcasts are on there uh, that you can do that with. Also, all of my recordings are on my website as well. You can also download this for free and uh, stream it for free as well. So that's it. So I'm sitting in my um, garden shed in my bedroom. This is my studio, my recording studio. On the sounds of it, Andre is scratching at the living room door. Which is a little bit annoying. There you go. Um, but hey, it's, it's normal for whenever I start to do one of these recordings, he suddenly pops up and becomes awake, as you might have noticed uh, in previous recordings. So luckily it should be fairly quiet and I'm going to do two versions of this recording one will be like this without music one will be with music because this is going to be a relaxation session so I'm not just going to be talking about a subject it's just going to be a relaxation um, recording so I hope that that's useful and part of the reason I'm doing this, well, apart from that's what I do, but I think there's definitely a need at the moment for more for more relaxation. Now, I feel it myself. That's, I actually need it myself. So I'm sure other people also would benefit or can benefit so that's what this is so I won't waffle on too much although I will be continuing to waffle because that's what the that's what I do in these recordings but it's a different type of waffling it's going to be focusing on your physical comfort so that's what I'm going to be doing and the recording I'm not sure how long this recording will last, but maybe half an hour. The one with music will last about 50 minutes because the music will continue playing afterwards. And that's it. And I'm hoping to up my game a little bit and make more regular daily recordings for this podcast. Because in some ways, this is possibly the most important podcast of all of them at the moment. With the, you know, with the world as it is in 2020, April, relaxation is possibly at the top of the list. And it's just a personal thing, but... I think because maybe huge amounts of people now are having anxiety and stress because of the situation that's been happening. Those people that deal with it, deal with anxiety, panic and stress during society's good times or, you know, flourishing times 
when everything seems okay to the majority of the public I think they kind of get forget forgotten a little bit a little bit um, lost in the crowd so I want to let you know that you're not lost in the crowd here and also that everybody's welcome so this isn't just for people that are had long term issues with stress or anxiety like myself it's for everybody that could benefit from feeling relaxed so maybe you can share this online and let other people know about this free service if it helps you it might help others you never know it might not they might hate it <laughs> so it's a double if you send it to someone you don't like first <laughs> and then if it helps them no never mind but if it doesn't you just annoy them I'm joking I'm joking it's alright so I'd like you get yourself calm and you might think, think well no you get me calm Jason that's why I'm listening to you if I could get myself calm I wouldn't need to listen to this which isn't really true because we can calm down there are ways of calming down even little things like taking your shoes off taking your socks off laying down on a bed it gives that signal of calmness to your body to your nervous system I guess to your brain to know that there's been a change and that change is a change of comfort so you can go from it's kind of the opposite I guess to running for a bus because you see you know someone might see a bus and they realize oh it's going to take off I better run before it you know before it leaves the bus stop that's a signal to your nervous system to have stress and to have energy to kick start that adrenaline system to uh, give you the to send that I guess the fat reserves burn it into energy so you can run for that bus gives you an idea how uh how much you know about biology but you know it's, it's a basic a very basic uh, explanation this would be kind of the opposite to that so sitting on your chair or sitting on your bed the side of your bed taking off your shoes taking off your socks maybe if you've got a tight top on taking the tight top off so that your shoulders can just feel relaxed because I know that for some people and I'm not talking about myself here but for some people uh, there might be fashion where tight clothes is a good thing maybe you know if someone who works out in the gym and they're really pleased with their body they want to show it off and wear tight clothes but when you're at home and there's no one else around just take the, t take the t-shirt off the tight t-shirt or a tight jumper a tight jacket and just notice how it feels when your shoulders and your chest can relax maybe take your jeans off if you're wearing jeans I haven't worn jeans since I was about 10 but I have but not for a long time but that you know I mean sometimes I used to wear jeans and I take them off and there'd be a mark around my stomach where the jeans have been too tight and that complete relief of like oh just it feels nice it's a small feeling but it's a nice feeling 
could be something as simple as just putting your hands underneath the elastic of your underpants or underwear and just lifting the elastic a little bit and letting some air onto your abdomen. Just, you know, giving yourself, it's a little bit of pleasure. It's those little things that gives a, it's a trigger to your brain to relax. It's almost like you're saying to your brain, this is the beginning of what we're going to be doing next. Just like when you're about to run for the bus. You're telling your body and your brain, I'm now going to be running. And whenever I've run for a bus, a few times I've fallen over actually, but when I get to the bus, I'll be honest with you, I don't feel relaxed. It takes a while for me to calm down. Because I've given myself that almost like a command or at the very least a request or maybe a warning even that this is what's going to be happening and I'm not sure how long it's going to be happening for so when you do just maybe lie down on your bed or lie back in a chair comfortable chair that supports your body so if you was to fall asleep, your body would be supported, you wouldn't fall out of it. So it's always a good idea not to listen to relaxation stuff on a stool or somewhere that doesn't support your body completely. And that feeling of comfort the initial feeling of comfort that you experience when you've been maybe stand on your, on your feet all day or maybe just for a short while but long enough to appreciate the relaxed sensation that you experience when you do sit down taking the weight off your feet and your legs and your hips resting your hands and your arms Maybe on the, the sides of the chair or maybe on your lap. And in that moment there's a sensation that's really pleasurable. Maybe you've not connected with feeling relaxed, even though in that moment you are feeling relaxed. But when you actually focus on that feeling and that's the only thing that you're focusing on. something starts to change because that initial feeling that maybe that seemed quite small to start with starts to grow starts to expand which is it's nice when it happens to a to a pleasant feeling of course, it's quite horrible, maybe, when it happens to a, an unpleasant feeling. Maybe stress or anxiety. And, you know, the same kind of thing could happen there. When you focus too much on one thing, it can sometimes expand and become bigger than what it actually really is. when ultimately it's just a feeling, just a feeling, just a, an experience, a physical, emotional sensation. 
And then you may start to wonder about this pleasant feeling. Is it physical or is it emotional? Because there seems to be a little bit of wanting to, I don't know, maybe like separate the two. Whatever, either it's physical or it's emotional. But we, we all know that how you feel physically affects how you feel emotionally. And in the same way, how you feel emotionally affects how you feel physically. So, the lines become a little bit blurred as to what is physical and what is emotional and, you know. It is kind of weird, I guess, how it mixes together. But then, feelings, emotions, even if it's physical, it's still created by the brain. And feelings are always changing. For example, someone has a chronic pain issue, the more relaxed they get, the more relaxed they feel emotionally in their mind, the more relaxed they'll feel physically, which means those pain levels will reduce. Because the feelings are always changing. Always changing. Moving around. Almost like clouds in the sky. There was a full moon last night. Big pink moon or something. And... The clouds are just going past. But no matter how many clouds there were, that moon was shining right through them. The clouds didn't stand a chance. There was something about the power of that moon. Because I think it was the closest to the earth that it gets in a year, you know, during the year. And it was so bright. Just like that activation of calmness and relaxation. Even though it may have started off as a small feeling of just lying down on your bed or taking your socks off or taking your bra off or your shoes or it could be something just simple, but it activates the sense of calmness in your body, which then stimulates your brain to prepare to feel relaxed. I mean, it's, that's why sports people rehearse what they're going to do, and they prepare for what they're going to do. For the particular sporting activity. So when they turn up at some big sporting event, let's say the Olympic Games for example, and that uh, 100 metre dash race, all those people standing there getting ready to kneel down to do the race, they're prepared, every fibre of their being is prepared to run for the next 10 seconds. But that's built up, that 
practice is exactly the same thing that occurs with relaxation. It's just practice. The benefit is you don't need sponsorship to pay for relaxing because it's free. Don't need to attend any uh, big events to compete with people for relaxing because there is no competition. It's a personal thing. You may be the best relaxer in the whole world and you're never going to know because people don't compete in that way. You have the ability to be as good as anybody else. And when I say good, what I mean is to be able to relax as deeply as the next person. Because relaxing is quite, it's the opposite of doing. It's the complete opposite of doing something. It's almost a, a kind of unlearning of that mentality of oh, I've got to do something, I've got to be busy, I've got to be putting effort in. That's the opposite to what's needed with relaxing. Other than to give yourself the time Maybe there's effort involved in uh, setting out, you know, the time to listen to this. Maybe that is, takes a little bit of effort, like, oh, I can't be bothered, I've got, to, I've got to reach over and press the play button. Yeah, maybe, maybe that's difficult. Maybe, you know, realistically finding the time, but not really effort, as far as there's no physical effort generally maybe for people with uh, physical issues there may be the physical effort of moving from one room to another maybe moving into a chair that they you can comfortably comfortably feel relaxed in so there might be some physical effort from that angle But once you're actually sitting in your chair, your comfortable chair, lying down in your comfortable bed, there is no effort involved. There is nothing needed. It's about allowing what naturally occurs to just do its thing. And it almost, it almost sounds too easy. How can it just be that simple? And I suppose part of the reason maybe we may think that way is because making things complicated is the human way. It seems to be we have to make things really complicated for ourselves. When sometimes it's not needed. Things like sleeping, relaxing, going to the toilet, digesting food. Those things are just things that we're born with the ability to do those things. Sleeping's easy. When you put the food and chew it up and swallow it, your digestive system, your body does the rest, basically. When you breathe, your lungs and your heart do the rest. When you lie down or sit in a comfortable chair, your body and your mind does the rest. Or doesn't do anything, in a way. It's about letting go, but also giving that power back 
to yourself, to not needing to be in control of everything that happens or everything that you feel. And that might not be the case for everyone, but I think it's quite natural to want to be, at the very least, observing and maybe questioning. In this situation, there's no questioning needed because you're just allowing those natural processes of relaxation to occur. Very easily, very simply. That's quite a nice quite a nice experience really when you think about it it definitely takes the pressure off because you don't have to do anything you don't have to say anything you don't have to see anyone you don't have to write anything down you don't have to remember anything you don't have to do anything Just allow those feelings to occur naturally. And when you do focus on that feeling of calmness in your mind, and you just observe it expanding, and the feeling in your body of comfort, as that also expands. Eventually, they seem to join together. Covering your entire body and filling your entire body from the top of your head to the tips of your toes. Moving down your spine. almost as if it moves out of your body creating a safe womb like space where you are so safe and relaxed and calm safe to let go completely safe to let go completely nothing to do or say it just feels nice to be completely free to be you now The feeling of relaxation just seems to grow along with that sensation of safety and positivity towards yourself is growing with every second. almost like you're having a transfusion of positive energy and healing injected into your body spreading throughout all of your veins into every part of your body filling your hands your feet with positive healing filling your legs and your arms with that positive healing, filling your hips, your back, stomach and chest with that positive healing, your shoulders, your neck, face and head filled with that positive healing and 
as it moves into your brain, filling your brain completely with that positive healing, filled with safety, filling your brain, your mind with a sense of safety, feeling so safe so looked after knowing that you've got everything to look forward to in the future including more and more relaxation good times ahead as you look through the lenses of safety and positive healing you can almost see a future and it doesn't matter what's there it's about the feeling that you have that incredibly positive feeling that you now experience not just towards how you feel now, but also towards a future that hasn't yet happened. And you can just spread that feeling almost as if it was coming out of a hose pipe, a big hose pipe spraying that safe, positive healing into the future maybe it has a colour maybe there's a sound maybe it sparkles just allow it to just spread all the way into the future healing and making it so safe and full of positivity And that healing, safe positivity, even though it's spraying out into the future, is becoming stronger inside you. Stronger inside you, so that it overflows out of the top of your head and travelling down your back onto the floor just starting to spread back into the past changing feelings of the past into safe positive healing just spreading back into the past even though you're here now you're concerned with the past or the future being aware of the incredible feeling of comfort that you can enjoy in this moment. There's something quite special about knowing that you're facing towards where you're going to be moving, towards the future, and that future is coloured by that safe, positive, healing energy. And that overflow of increasing healing energy of safety that's within you, in your body, in your mind, and in your brain, is overflowing and moving into the past, changing and healing the past. So that things that used to bother you are now starting to change. It's almost like a spring as the flowers blossom. And the landscape changes. And 
healing takes place without needing your attention because you're here now enjoying the sense of relaxation even though that safe, positive, relaxing energy is being transported forward into the future preparing you for a wonderful life ahead starting from when this recording ends and while you're listening to this recording that experience of comfort and safety is a real real energy in that safety the security the knowing that you're going to be okay the knowing that and the belief that you are okay the realization that you will always get through whatever life throws at you and you can learn and you can enjoy looking forward to each new day with a sense of anticipation of this safe positive relaxation that's now spreading through your body is there it's almost like it's everywhere in the future so wherever you walk whatever you touch you'll be touching positive safe energy healing energy and whenever you think of the past it feels different feel safer those things that were unpleasant are now over gone forever and those things that were beautiful and pleasant they're also over but maybe they shine a bit more brighter than they used to allowing you to have more of those feelings whenever you choose to experience incredible levels of comfort and relaxation throughout your body and mind it just feels so nice apart from anything else it feels really pleasurable to just let go to just let go so I'm going to bring this recording to an end if you're listening with music it will still continue with the music for another 10, 15 minutes. But before we go, I just want you to remember that not only can you re experience or maybe even have a stronger positive response of deep relaxing healing positivity covered in safety whenever you listen to this recording whenever you hear my voice in the future whether on future recordings or previous recordings you can stimulate that feeling within you of safety, calmness, positivity. 
as that healing spreads through your body and your mind and your brain just fills up with that positivity feels so nice it really does feel nice And if you want to come back and wake up if you've fallen asleep or if you wanted to open your eyes, of course you can. I'll count to uh, one to five. But if you choose, you can just keep your eyes closed if they're closed. If you want to, you can just drift off to sleep if you haven't already done so or maybe you'd like to just if you're listening to the version with the music just listen to the music it's completely up to you you're the boss you're in charge you can enjoy feeling relaxed I'm just going to count from one to five. I'm going to get to five if you wish to. You can open your eyes, but I won't ask you to. I'll just say five and then I'll, you know, wait a few seconds and then stop the recording. Or I'll stop talking. Whichever comes first. Now, remember, to be kind to yourself, because you do deserve to be happy. Do something nice for yourself, every day. One. Two, three, four, keeping all this relaxation and safety within your body and mind, keeping it with you without holding on just allowing it to be there because that safe positive relaxation is you you're not separate from it you are it you are safety you are positivity you are relaxation and you are healing. 